for 10% off your entire sale at unlimitedcase.com, use the discount code Andres R0D. What's up, guys? It's Andres, and here it is. And there another episode of One Up Wednesday. Um, there's a little change this week. I actually uh, forgot my mic at home, and I'm in my dorm right now, so I cannot get it. So that might be the problem. I I don't know yet if the sound sound quality is gonna be bad, but I hope it's not. So uh, let's get through this and forgive me of the bad quality of the sound. But um, today I'm gonna be doing uh, this application called Alfred, which you can get from the App Store. So um, to get to the App Store, actually, I'm gonna give you a little preview of what it looks like. So get to the App Store real quick. Um, I just searched it. Oops, I just searched it up real quick. So Alfred already installed so you just click on this and this actually is free uh, there is a per, uh, paid version which you can get online but I think the free application is pretty pretty good it works really well I really like it so let's see that's pretty much it here I mean you can look at more and stuff like that and give you like all this stuff, but why not just show you? So let's close it up, open it up real quick, and that's this is pretty much it. Offered. Um, there's this little thing right here which you can click to get to the preferences. Which if you go to general, it'll show you a uh, Offered hotkey, which is just for me option and space, which is the default. So when you hit option and space, either at the same time or hit option first and end space it'll open it up and tap it again to close it um, it has essentials right here, results which I haven't really messed with, I don't know what that is you have features for uh, here it's spelling so if you want to learn how to spell you just to define a word you first say, you first say define or if you want to spell a word you uh, first type spell you also have calculator system commands if you want to lock your computer you just click on it and then spell lock and you should be able to lock it I am not gonna mess with that because I don't want to lock my computer um, there's also applications and then the defaults was uh, you can put to show uh, like preferences applications folders um, archives images bookmarks contacts text files documents and Apple scripts and you can also put just to search everything if you don't really care but that will slow you down your your computer so I probably wouldn't do that but appearance uh, here you can uh, change the way it looks when you open it up like for example I put to hide the hat when I open it up like that I don't really like it I prefer uh, simple like this you can also uh, hide the little thing right here but it doesn't really bother me it's not in the way so it's nice, and then you can also hide the icon, the menu icon. However, it acts, you can remember what you last typed. Uh, I remember window position, which I didn't know you could change it actually. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I think the middle's fine, so I don't care. Fading off for the window. Um, auto hide top result. And then you have colors, which you can switch from light to dark. Dark just looks like this. And light, it's like that. Um, the usage is how much I use it a day. So it's average is 1.8 times per day. So I use it like uh, almost two times a day sometimes. Um, today, because I've used it so much. But Alpha has been shown 45, 41 times since February 1st so that's uh, I guess when I got it I didn't know that but you can see they have like some peaks of when I use it or not, and stuff like that sometimes it's, I use that a lot I haven't used it that much lately just because I kinda to tell you the truth I actually forgot about it because I had most of my 
stuff that I use on my dock. And it was getting pretty bad, like my icons were getting really small. I've changed that, my dock is now like semi-small kind of, I guess you can say. But this is all the applications I almost use like on a regular basis, so. Yeah, anyways, experimental, don't know what that is, whatever. And then you have about, which just shows you about it. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry about the quality of the audio once again, but um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, like this application and you do get it. It's really nice. I actually really do like it and recommend it a lot. Because if you do have a lot of applications and programs and folders and stuff like that, it does get really p repetitive if you want to get to something. Like, it's just really annoying trying to go through a bunch of folders just to get to one file. If you know the name of it, you can just search for it. It's pretty nice. Like, um, I don't know, I'll give you an example. Like, I can just search for, let's see, uh, let's see, Kim. So I have all my stuff, like, uh, my chem lag, my chem, in, in gener general chemistry, and stuff like that. Uh, it's just, and then you have chest, which is kind of nice. Uh, just stuff like that. It's like really easy to get to your stuff, so I recommend it. But thanks for uh, watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, whatever you want to do with this video. And leave a comment below if you uh, suggest any application and that you think I should look up or get and stuff like that. I'll really appreciate it. But alright guys, peace.